Hey, it's Darnell with D Grill. Gonna be cooking up some bison burgers tonight on the Green Mountain Grill's Daniel Boone. And I'm gonna be using some GMG Texas Grilling Blend wood pellets because I've still got a about a ton of those wood pellets. So I've got my meat here and I'm just gonna start the grill up at 400 degrees. So I'm going to power on my grill now that I've already connected to and I'm going to start the temp at 400 degrees so that that grill starts getting good and warmed up okay so I've got my meat here I'm gonna get out a sec I'm gonna be using some uh, Twisted Q uh, Bent Burger seasoning this time this is a seasoning I haven't tried before but supposed to be pretty good for uh, your burgers and so we're going to give that a try with the bison so I'm just going to get the package open here and make my I'm gonna make four large burgers so just gonna get this open and get the meat out and make my burgers real quick that grill is still warming up We'll see how these compare to the uh, the ones I made on the Green Mountain Grill. I mean, on the uh, on the Weber Genesis 2. The ones I made on the Weber Genesis 2 propane gas grill. We'll see how things go comparatively speaking. I'm basically um, in similar fashion heating the grill up to 400 degrees. Going to cook them on one side since I'm using the pellet smoker this time. Eight minutes and on one side, and then I'll flip them. If I was using a gas grill, I would flip them sooner because they can probably get that sear faster, but in this case, they probably would not. So, going to cook them for eight minutes on one side, flip them, and then just let them cook for the meat, and a burger reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So, got my meat here. Just going to split in half and make patties. Nice big fat burger patties. But not fat burgers, bison burgers. This meat's already been setting for a little bit, so it's already uh, not, you know, refrigerated cold meat. So here's our burger number three. And burger number four. I'm gonna make sure I don't waste any bits of meat there. So I'm gonna get this glove off. Go ahead and shake some of the seasoning on one side. Shake it in real good. I'm going to use a liberal amount of the seasoning since it's made uh, especially for burgers. Hoping it gives a real nice flavor to them. We'll see how much smoke the uh, Green Mountain Grill Daniel Boone can impart tonight. You can cook bison burgers in similar fashion on your Traeger Reptic Gorilla Grill or other type of uh, pellet smoker grill. And uh, I will mention that you cannot cook bison like you would ground beef. You don't want to go all the way to 500 or 450 with uh, bison. Bison cooks much faster. It's a much leaner meat. It has much less fat. So you want to come down to a, a little lower temp at 400 to do your cooking of bison burgers. one here I 
And the setup of the grill is pretty simple, just to mention that. It's, uh, you know, I basically got a liner in there. I've got the grill warming up, and I'm just going to put them on the rack there and let them cook there. So when I bring you back, basically the grill will be ready at 400 degrees, and I'll be putting these on the grill. All right, while the grill's warming up, I'm just going to give you a quick weather report. Currently it's clouds and sun, 85 degrees. Real feels 93, but it's getting cooler. Humidity 69%. Wind is reading at four miles per hour, but I feel it's picking up. There's basically gonna be some uh, storms coming through, so I'm trying to get these knocked out before the, uh, the uh, wet weather hits. You know, I don't want any wet weather hitting this pellet smoker. So I'll be bringing you back as soon as it's time to put the burgers on the grill. Currently the grill's up to about 281 and rising. Okay, so the grill's reached our target temp of 400 degrees. Gonna go ahead and put the burgers, bison burgers, on the pellet smoker here. All right, now I've got a profile that I'm going to invoke called bison burgers and so I'm going to start that profile now so it's just going to go ahead as the profile mentions run them for eight minutes at the uh, and shows that the first steps running because it's already at 400 degrees so it's going to run it at 400 for eight minutes like I mentioned and I'll flip them and continue cooking them until they're 160 inside then pull them off I will mention um, another thing I have at the end that's step three I just have that to let me know when they're done because an interesting thing about the Green Mountain Grills app is when it goes through each step, it tells you that it's going to the next step until the food is done. When the food is done, it just basically does your final step. And uh, you know, when that final step is done, it doesn't say, hey, the final step's done. And I'm going on to something like uh, starting the shutdown sequence or keeping the grill warm if you select keep warm after your steps. When it does the last step, it doesn't say anything, so I just put something before my real last step to give me an indication when the burgers are done so I can come out and grab them. So I'm going to go ahead and let that run, and I'll bring you back uh, when it's time to flip these burgers over. All right, it's time to give our burgers a flip and stick in the meat probe, so I'm going to do that right now. See, they look uh, like they're cooking along pretty good. Not much of a sear on there. We got some sear on that one. Maybe we're not cooking as evenly over here, but not much sear over there either. in one and close it up and bring you back when that one reaches 160 and Lord willing the rest will be close to or at 160 at that time and all done too so I'll bring you back soon okay so just about 50 minutes later the bison burgers reached that desired internal meat temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit so just going to throw a slice of cheese on one that I plan to have for myself here this evening. Just throw it on that, that one over there. And just close it up for a moment. The grill is already going through its cool down process. So uh, that's why you see the temperature on the graphic went down a bit and started dropping. So just going to give that a moment to let the cheese melt in there. but. Hoping these are nice and tasty and all the times in the smoker has given uh, a nice smoke flavor. You see the meat's nice and red, so it's definitely uh, had some good smoke on it. Let's have a look again. Alright. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the burgers off now and take them inside, have a look at them. Do our taste test here. take them on inside and do the taste testing. Alright so here are our completed bison burgers and I'm just going to put myself together a burger on some uh, lightly toasted wheat bread here. Just going to put some mayo on the bottom where I like it and uh, then I'm going to take this bison burger patty here and set it on there. I'm going to get some ketchup, get it nice and shaken up, and pour it on. I'm going to take some yellow mustard, make sure that's nice and shaken, and get some of that on there. Now our bison burger is complete. So I'm going to get the camera adjusted and we'll do our taste testing. Alright, so here's our bison burger. I can tell you it smells delicious. So I'm going to do a bite here. It tastes like a, uh, a very good burger. I will say, uh, comparatively speaking to the uh, one smoked on the Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill, that one used mesquite, straight mesquite wood chips versus the Green Mountain Grill's Texas Grilling Blend. I'll still say I'm still not feeling the Green Mountain Grill blends as far as their strength of flavor. Um, I'll say that the ones off the Genesis 2 probably, you know, if I had to pick between, you know, having two of those in front of me and this one was cooked with the Weber Genesis 2 and this one was cooked with the Green Mountain, I'd probably grab the one that was cooked with the Weber Genesis 2 using the Mesquite wood chips. And I will say if I had smoked these burgers on the Green Mountain Grill with probably a straight, uh, maybe Mesquite or straight hickory, maybe from the Traeger brand, Traeger brand probably would have turned out better. I'm finding that although the Green Mountain Grill pellets, they sell you like 40% more in a bag instead of 20 pounds in a bag, they're like 28 pounds of pellets in a bag. It seems like those blends are sacrificing something for that extra 40% in the bag. Um, you know, it looks like a great value for the money. And, you know, it's, you know, a respectable smoke flavor. I think it's a difference that someone who cooks a lot on the smoker is gonna notice. I don't think it's a difference that people who are just eaters are going to notice. So, you know, your friends and family, you know, you can save the money with the Green Mountain Grill pellets and probably impress them. But someone who smokes a lot is probably going to be able to tell that uh, subtle difference there. But anyway, I uh, definitely want to tell you to, you know, check out, I've just started on Instagram at D Grill Smoke. So you can check me out there. I've started posting photos. Started posting some videos. I haven't done a lot of cooking on the grill videos on uh, IGTV yet, but I will get into more of that. Um, I have some other things from some other cooks on there, though, and I do have some photos from smoking and um, doing some cooks and things on the grills. Also, on Twitter, I'm at DGrillSmoke, patreon.com slash DGrill. The blog is at uh, DGrillSmoke.com. Also, um, Definitely, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can definitely share this video with your friends. You're strongly uh, encouraged to please subscribe to the channel. Definitely more good stuff coming. 
And so I say to you, good eating.